So do we honor our nation's presidents that even after they retire from office and from then on, they are protected by Secret Service. And it is more than just an honor. There is always the lurking threat of bodily harm to a former president. Why, one former president was considered so vulnerable to kidnapping that his bodyguards kept him moving all the time. Kept him moving. I mean, in the years after this president had left the White House, he was actually physically relocated on the orders of those assigned to protect him, relocated more than a dozen times. Let me tell you, let me tell you the rest of the story. Now, he was no longer president of the United States, and yet his extraordinary vulnerability was a source of ongoing concern. In the first place, he was a highly visible former president when he left Washington he did not travel directly home. He made personal appearances in ten major cities, Baltimore and Harrisburg, Philadelphia, New York City, Albany, Buffalo, Cleveland, Columbus, Indianapolis, Chicago. Now, some folks said he was just too accessible to the general public. They said that one of these days, if his bodyguards were not careful, this ex-president was going to be kidnapped. Well, it was a valid warning. Already there were rumblings in the criminal community that such a presidential kidnapping might be attempted. In response, the former president's bodyguards adopted what they called the moving target theory that kidnappers would be less likely to choose an unpredictable prey if they were not sure where he was going to be on any specific date. Indeed, in the entire decade, ten years, following his departure from Washington, this former president actually relocated four times. And then when he was 11 years out of office, it happened. Six men conspired to kidnap the former president. Prospective ransom, $200,000. They almost succeeded. They were actually, physically, bodily, carrying away our ex-commander-in-chief. They might have disappeared into the night. Had one of the men assigned to guard the former president not interfered, and the conspirators were captured and tried and imprisoned. Although, as you can imagine, the presidential bodyguards never quite got over that, that brush with calamity. So, as I say, our former chief executive was relocated no fewer than eight times thereafter. Maybe more, but no fewer than eight. Remember, they were trying to keep all those relocations secret and may even have deceived history once or twice, so he could have been moved more than I'm telling you. But after all, how much of what you've just heard can be found in any history book? For the ex-president we've been discussing, left Washington feet first. He made all those subsequent personal appearances from a box. He was shot out of office. His bodyguards were literally guarding his body guarding it from grave robbers for 36 years after his death. They moved him more than a dozen times, which makes the body of Abraham Lincoln the liveliest corpse that ever was. And now you know the rest of the story.